Joseph. Welcome to Manoa's Morning Messages. Today is Friday, January 31st, 2020, day one. We will have a fantastic day at Manoa Elementary today. On today, we will have a toasty cheese sandwich, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or mixed green salad with cheese, all with Campbell's tomato soup. Sounds like a great way to warm up on a cold day. Enjoy! Our weather continues to be a little on the warm side for January. This weekend, there may be another storm, but we're still not sure if it will rain, snow, sleet, or something else. Last weekend, we did end up with rain, snow, and sleet. Makes it hard for sledding, but what will the upcoming days bring? We, we still wonder, could there be another snow day soon? Trout update, let's go to Mr. K's class room for the trout update from Mr. K and his yeah. students. And um, the trout are doing great. They're getting a little bit bigger and the water temperature is doing great and we feed them number zero, and soon we will be feeding them number one. Thanks for the update, Mr. K's class. They are growing fast. Speaking of Mr. K's class, they also have been writing letters to the community. Here they are to share their experiences. This is Mr. K's fourth grade class. In writing, we have been learning about how to write business letters, thank you letters, and friendly letters. So we wrote to a business, each of us wrote to a business, and they responded back. And I wrote to Grossman St. Moore, which is an accounting company in downtown Syracuse. I wrote to the Manoa Fire Department. I wrote to Panera and they gave us 30 cookies and two half a gallon of lemonade. I wrote to Cape Cod Potato Chip Factory and I got a free coupon. I wrote to Paint with a Twist where my birthday is going to be. I wrote to Perry's Ice Cream and they sent me a letter back. Great job, Mr. K's class. Over in second grade, students worked with Kiva Planks to solve Kiva Plank challenges. They showed perseverance through all the challenges. They had some pretty cool designs. Another awesome thing that has been happening is that robotics has started and been going strong. Mr. Zimmer has had a great bunch of kids interested in working with robots, sometimes 30 of them. Thanks, Mr. Zimmer, and we look forward to more highlights and updates. We continue working on the positivity project with more strengths. Last week, we studied the positivity strength of perseverance. Perseverance means you complete what you start despite obstacles. You never give up. How are you doing persevering through January and through, the, and through winter? Keep up the good work, students. We're just about halfway through the year. This week, we are studying other people matter mindset, spe specifically supporting others when they struggle. Supporting other people when they struggle is a critical piece of being a human. There is a Chinese saying that sums this up. If you want happiness for an hour, take a nap. If you want happiness for a day, go fishing. As if, as if you want happiness for a year, inherit a fortune. If you want happiness for a lifetime, help somebody. Think about that as we go through this week. We've already recognized all the students for December, and we will continue in February with the January students. Today is the last day of January. Be sure to showcase the positivity strengths to be recognized by your teachers. Remind your teachers how special it is when you're recognized. Great job, everyone! Also, a reminder that this season of PBIS is a full swing. So, that's right, the Bragg and Dragons are back. Look out for any teacher or staff in the building. They might give you one if they catch you setting a great example. Why should you write with a broken pencil? I don't know. Why? Because it's pretty pointless. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Ride's students have been working on something special, a bottle drive. Here they are to tell you about it. We are students in Mrs. Ride and Mrs. Smith's room.
We are collected by your same cans to come by your communicate help us. We, every morning we can ask for them. Every morning we will be coming around to ask for them. Help. Please help. We will go to the dollar store with the money we get. Thank you. to the bin by room ten, by room 10. Great job. February is Black History Month, so we continue this week and going through February highlighting important African Americans and their contributions. Today we will speak of Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant was born on August 23rd, 1978 and quickly became interested in basketball. He was so good that he it became his career with the National Basketball Association or NBA directly from high school. He played his entire 20-season NBA career with the Los Angeles Lakers. Bryant won five NBA championships, was an 18-time All-Star, 15-time member of the All-NBA team, 20-time member of the All-Division team, was named the 2008 NBA Most Valuable Player MVP, MVP and was a two-time NBA Finals MVP winner. Widely regarded as one of the greatest players of all time, he led the NBA in scoring during two seasons, ranks fourth on the league's all-time regular season scoring, and ranks fourth on the all-time postseason scoring list. He accomplished much more, including the youngest player in league history, to receive 30,000 points at 30 at 34 years of age, and two gold medals from, begin, from being on the USA Olympic team. Fun fact, Kobe Bryant went to high school at Lower Marion High School near Philadelphia with Mrs. Courier, our music teacher, and then he started his music career as well. Ask her to see her yearbook. Sadly, this past Saturday, January 26, 2020, Mr. Bryant passed away in a tragic helicopter accident. The outpouring of support after his death showcased the incredible person that he was on and off the, co the court. He and his wife even started a foundation to help those in need and combat homelessness. Kobe is remembered as saying that he wanted more out of life than just a successful basketball career. And, and he did just that. Thanks for your memories and for always playing to win. We will miss you, number 24. As we continue to introduce our new staff, this week we will interview one of our assistants, Mr. Robinson. Who are you and what do you do here at Manoa Elementary? My name is Mr. Robinson. I'm a teacher's assistant in Mrs. Diamond's room. I've been in a couple other classrooms, though. What did you do before you came here? I worked at Woodland Elementary uh, at the YMCA, and um, yeah, and before that I was uh, in a college at uh, SUNY Geneseo. What made you want to work here at Manoa? Uh, one day I was driving to Woodland and I saw a sign that said that the district was hiring, that ESM was hiring uh, new teachers. So I went in and applied, and I talked to Mr. Gerst, and uh, he's the one that actually got me here. What is your favorite subject and why? Um, my favorite subject, it's close, it's between history and science. Uh, I, I got to give a slight edge to history because it always repeats itself and people, people don't realize that, but it's very crazy, history. What do you do for fun? I like to go hunting, I like to go fishing, a lot of outdoor stuff. And at the same time, I'm also just a movie. I'm a big movie buff who just sits in, inside all day. <laughs> Have you been anywhere fun? Uh, this year I went to see the Green Bay Packers play at Lambeau Field, and we lost, but it was still a lot of fun. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to share with us? <laughs> Um, yeah, um, hopefully I'll get you guys pictures of my pets that I have at home. Um, they're very cool. I got a, a dog named Nubs, a dog named Mercy. I have two lizards named Mary and Larry. I have two other lizards who don't have names. And hopefully you'll see all of them. Thank you so much for coming to our school. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.
that's our show for today. Thanks for watching. Support others when they struggle. Enjoy the snow. Always persevere. Don't forget to read. See you next week.